Yo guys, what is going on and welcome to uh, a pretty old game. Um, it came out, I think, like two years ago, but I never played it. And I don't really know why, because it seems like it's right up my alley. Also, this is really annoying me because people are gonna- you, you're gonna think that someone's joining. They're not. I'm alone. <laughs> Not like alone like, you know, like old school Simon alone as in just like I'm on my own right now I have friends. Okay. I have friends. Anyway, this is a game called late shift where it's kind of like, you know The multiple choice kind of games we've been playing like until dawn um, Like Detroit those kind of things, but it's a lot shorter and it's all actually like real life scenes So you choose something and then it's a real life scenario happens So I'm gonna stop talking and we're just gonna start. I actually don't know the storyline of this though I saw I know Vic has played it and I saw Jacksepticeye played it, and that's that's all I know. That that's literally it. So I, there were people in suits. I assume there's like guns or something. I don't know, but yeah, there we go. And see, look, real life, IRL. Is that is that London? Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow. Meaningful. This is like Super Seducer again. Oh, I'm close. The door is open. I'm a I see no evidence of this. But you'll call me off for a while. He's very, he's very quiet. Can I, can I turn you up, Mister? Okay, music volume. Let's turn that down, okay? Because he is getting overrun. He's like a bad Jason Statham. He is still very quiet. Music. You know, let's, you know what? Let's ha let him have his moment. Let's go to 28 and see if that even changes anything. Queenless hive. Never looking. There we go. Never stopping. Happy there were subtitles. Big up buses. Man like bus. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off. Oh, uh... Selfless. Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? That's my law. I, I let lines. people go on because... They're too lazy to think beyond the following of that. No, oh, man. I let people like go on not, before me. Life's a sinister competition. An endless series of choices. Large or small. Each with its own set of probabilities. Or wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Is it my train? Excuse me. Uh, this train Random variables. I move. The human I'm sorry. Oh, I would board. I, I'm not going to lie to you. Bond Street. Mate, move. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. Platform. Dickhead! Punch him! Just through there. Thank you. I genuinely would have chosen the selfless option before. I, w I genuinely let other people on just because I'm like, oh yeah, go ahead, like, go ahead. I know that sounds big-headed, but I do. Although there, I would have been a dickhead and I'd have been like, I'm really sorry, that's my trait. Actually, I probably wouldn't. I hate confrontation. I probably would have gone, oh, let me have a, let me have a look. Let me, have, oh, yeah, okay. No, okay, don't worry, I'll, I'll miss my train. You got some boot cuts. You got some big old boot cuts, mister. Is this my job or is this a friend? Right. There's two cars out. The rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. But I don't think it will be. Tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. I was dressed really smartly under a hoodie. Imagine if this was it. I tricked you guys. This is actually car park simulator. What a game. What a and here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. Look at you, my beauty. Oh. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Oh. I really wanted an i8, but I've actually heard they're not great to drive. Very random tangent, I'm sorry. They are so beautiful. They are so ah. Oh, that car is. It's beautiful. Careful the way he That's weird. Sorry. It with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. 
do beg your pardon. How's he got her? No problem. No tip. Him or her. Fuck. Thank you. How has he got- Sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. How? How? He seemed like a dickhead. How's he got her? Nah, she is a dick. 100%. Must do. Who dat? Forget something. Not exactly. Oh. Um, oh. I'm sorry about before. You know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <gasps> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. Looks pretty heavy to me. Hey, she's into you. Can I help you, Sonny? Ah, uh, I need a favor. Oh, here we go. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. No, that's okay. a lie. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay, he doesn't know. She's stealing it. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It makes sense now. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. She ain't coming back. Um. Before one? Why? I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. I can't then. Fine. I won't. Nah, she, cause she ain't into, she's flirting for nothing. He ain't getting none. Okay. I made a bet. Lies. A stupid bet. Lies. Up at this party in a Maserati. That was rash. Just a bet for a grand, a grand, a <sighs> hundred of it is yours if you let me have those keys up front. 200, 200, okay, up front, 300, 300. But you said 200 way too quickly. Look, would you rather be 700 up or a grand down? Oh. I'm trusting you, yeah? It's not free. 200 in cash tonight. Nah, if you're saying to... Nah, nah, forget it. See you later. Sorry. Nah, look, forget it. If you ain't... There is no way I'm letting you drive a £200,000 car out of here tonight, alright? What? Chesity, check it. Nothing. Go check. There's a guy, there's a dude there. There was a, there was a guy there. Look, no more fast cars tonight, all right? Oh, sh oh, oh, sh okay. Surely she's just gonna go in and steal the keys. Oh, I shouldn't have gone. What? Turn around. Slowly. Fam, are you. Why didn't I just say all clear? Why are you ble is he bleeding? Drop it. Drop it. No, he's got a gun. Like, he's got a gun. Now get in the car. What? What do you mean? I don't. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. What? Why you got a hand period? You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do. I'm playing this as if he is me. I'm doing exactly what I would do. Although, to be fair, I probably wouldn't have said 200, then 300. I'd have just gone, sorry. What happened? 
I, I would drive. I would, I would drive. You, ha you have to. He has a gun pointed at you. I don't know if I can die immediately. Like, he could literally just shoot me in the back. If I just ran, he could just go, what's this fool doing? Bang, done. And that's game over. I'll oh, start the whole game again. Whose house is this? How... How do I get out of this? So I can go now, right? You should stay right where you are. He didn't say right. I'm a fucking student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. I'd do it. I would do it. I'm... I... He has a gun, guys. Like... I'm gonna stand up to someone with a gun. This ain't your house. This. We checked your gear. Just wanna make sure I look. Uh, and I wanna make sure we have a check your gear, Simon. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? Who's that? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Why not just? Jesus Ooh. Christ! And who's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot! It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr. Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity, and we're going to use it. Couldn't tell if that was Why? racist. How? Him. Leave him to bleed. Need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that, you know, Irish Pete. I, I, we all know how this is going to go. How about him? Yep, yeah, there we go. Let's put a bullet in him. It looks like Josh I Peters. Contradict. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are. Or what you're up to, okay? I'm not gonna say anything to anyone. Well, it's not gonna take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. <sighs> Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Uh, the protest. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? Yes, yeah, we'll have headaches like you. Hold oh, still, making things worse. D protest. <laughs> Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key? What the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face. Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. Oh, shit! You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Go on, Josh Peters. But you can. Certainly can. So you need me. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wood, How do I look like trouble? trouble? We've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. But you don't get a cut if you... Whatever, you know what? I'm alive. Okay, let's get set. Okay. So what's the plan? This is what's going to happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. What I'll am I doing? Four, nine. This one. The thing is, I would play along and- You're joking. We'll find yourself. I'd play along until I have the chance to just run. And at that point, I'm gone. What? I'm not even driving. So what do I do next? Do I go along with this and then try and Yes, me? that's exactly what you do. That is- Do I keep my mouth shut? How's that gonna work out? I mean, there is CCTV footage. That girl was trying to- That girl was lying. She was trying to get Mazar- Man. I should've just let her have it. I should've just gone to the party with her. Ladies and difficult choices. She's gonna turn up at the party. So much for the quiet night. 100%. I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. 
a very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? Really? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back. We're here to stop them getting it back. To stop them getting a rice bowl. For it. I can just go miss the chows down the road and just get a new rice bowl. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. What do you mean? Do you what? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. True. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. You know what? I. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. Yeah. You know, maybe you got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. She likes me. I'm, I'm trying to like, you know, I'm trying to be friends with her a little bit so that later on, you know, she might be just like, no, we can't kill him. Welcome to Hainsworth. Because I love him. Part of the auction has just begun. Oh. Thank you. Oh. I'm, I'm breathing heavy. 910 to my left. Thank you, sir. Knees weak, arm spaghetti. 920. 9.20, thank you. I see you. 9.30, again to my Third left. left. 9.40, do I hear 9.40? 9.40, thank you, sir. Looking for 9.50. Oh, here we go. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once. 9.50 twice. Bang it! Thank you. For 950,000 pounds. Raw! This marvellous 12th century cabinet with its... Hidden compartment, which is for, its for an old it's box. I'm sorry, if I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we I can do that. To what I feel must be the highlight. Oh, here we go, a rice bowl. Two four seven, and to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. How's she 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 shouldn't be touching that with bare hands. Where's her gloves at? What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three That's simply beautiful pieces. Remaining yes. examples okay, great. I'm of a red down. phoenix pattern. Simon. Known yeah? to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Kate. He's at Simon. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who Man is like Parr. far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. What a nice, what a nice guy, man. Yeah, he can't afford it. Did he say that? Come on, man, he's donating 50% of so, that. We should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I hey, have. Go on, then. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Three million pounds for a little rice bowl. Do I hear four? Four. Four? I mean, I'm selling this candle if you want to buy it. Anyone? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Anyone? I get 20% of the Thank sale price, don't we? Phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do no I one? Now hear seven? I mean, I'll take 30 quid. Seven I have to the lady. Thank you. It, it's pretty <laughs> shit. Seven. Do I hear eight? I. They better take eight. Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir. <sighs> don't do any more. for nine. Do I hear Intervene. Nine? nine in the room? The odds are not good. Nine, I'm looking for. Price increases on a logarithmic. All goal. around the Closing room. Zero. Nine million to you, sir. Thank you very much. The is getting away with another nine million. Million. Yeah, don't. Less than so do I hear nine five? Fair warning. I'm selling. Don't do it. Nine million once. Nine million twice. Sold to the gentleman on my right for nine million. How is she going to try and do that? Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. 23%. I guess we'll never know, will we? Well, we don't need to. Let's get out of here. Nine million. 
The wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. I'm get As if I'm getting a cut. The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Ah, uh, I do as I'm told. Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? Ah, oh, I should have clicked prevent. I'm an idiot. You did well, stopping mailing like that. Don't know what I got into her. Follow me. She seems to like the rush. You don't say. Okay, the assistant's packing up. You've got to move right now. It sounds like when you used to play Laser Quasar or Laser Quest, and they go, return to Energizer. Yeah, always listen to Simon. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Bogs. Bogs means toilets for Americans. Where's the guard's image? He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Ready. That was a... That, that wasn't a convincing mirror look. Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. I have to play along. Okay, Matt, go. I have to play along, don't I? Stop right there, sir. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Please don't kill him. I'll just knock him out, right? I'll just knock him out. No, not another guy. Don't. Ah, oh, shit. I shouldn't have done that. I'm not a violent person, okay? I know, don't kill him. Bro, stop him! Don't kill him! Are you mad? I'm an accessory to murder. I'm. Ma it's over for me. I told you I am not a violent person. Okay. The left keypad is 309220. Okay. Punch in the right code and I'm good. Okay. On the right keypad, enter this. I'm doing it. I'm doing okay. Why would I not? Got it. Now both hit enter at the same time. Okay. Three, two, one. Got it. We're in. I'm, I want to get out of here, don't I? Thanks, mate. Take him with you. I, I beg, look, I've done everything you asked me to. I beg you, just let me go. Come on, Matt, let me. Why do you still need me? No, chill. Why would you speed and risk getting caught? Can you hear the police sirens? Oh, I did not expect this to go that smoothly. I mean, it wasn't smooth where I was. Oh, you know what? Sure, she likes me. <laughs> I have to admit, I wouldn't have thought you'd live up to the task. I'll take my high five back. And as far as I can see, you're beginning to like playing this game. Nope. Not at all. Why didn't I? You know what irritates me about you? What? 
You're a blank book. Impossible to read. You've met me for about four minutes. Yeah, I can read people, but you? Nothing. Pitch black. I'm, I'm white, but okay. Keep quiet. Yeah, we're gonna say now, huh? See what I mean? You ain't got nothing on me. Alright, come on, like, legit. You can let me go now. Just drop me off at the side of the road. Like, here. Just drop me off there. Like, please. I don't want to be part. I just wanted to. Uh, all I wanted to do was. Oh, well, oh really? We have it. Like, fuck for that. Just get out of it. Please, guy, guys, just drop me off at, drop me off at the nearest Asda's, the nearest Lidl. Nothing I want to get a little muffin. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Can I please go? I'm in the back of some strangers' vans. Honestly, Van. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. Some shortage high. I made up shortage. Hong Kong City restaurant. Aye, there's it's gonna be loads of, what loads of hipsters. Give them to me. I'll pop him. Why are you gonna shoot me? Speak up. Hey, that's not what we agreed. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. Can you not just? There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Really? Re really? How are we gonna crash like that? How are we, how are we gonna? <laughs> okay, we are waking up from a crash. That was a that was a bad crash. Can I run away, please? I've been held captive. They were gonna they were gonna duct tape my mouth closed. Please, just let me go. <laughs> May. May, can you hear me? May. Open May. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we gotta get out. All right. They're all dead. Fuck. I'm a nice guy, you know. Still saving, still saving May. Mei Ling. <laughs> Mei Ling. <laughs> she sounds like a letter. Are we no, we need to get away. Are you away? Are you alive? What's what's in the bag? Let's go. What about the others? Oh, they're dead. They're all dead. Come on. What? Isn't that gonna? You just said there's petrol. You just said uh, the rice bowl. Oh, it's in there. Okay. I was gonna say, didn't he have the rice bowl in his pocket? Can't you just give her the rice it's bowl? Where are we going? Just away. Just as police. We're gonna take this bowl to the police where it belongs. What? You heard me. Are you out of your mind? Oh, look, I'm not a criminal, all right? You think the police will believe? Yes. If I bring the bowl back, yeah. Then you're a fool. You just save your life. You can't go to the police. Why, why not? I'm asking a lot of questions considering how close they are. You are seen in the auction house. You are a criminal. No, no, I'm a security guard and I'm bringing the bowl back. You're an accessory, plain and simple. Disagree. I have footage of me being taken hostage. That must be on the CCTV. Watch me. Oh no. I may have just I may have just ruined everything. I'm under arrest. Look, I brought the bowl back. Not yet. 
You allege someone forced you to steal? Yes. Yeah. They threatened to drug me. Threatened to drug you. Oh, kill me as well. I'm telling you the truth. Will you be the judge of that, sir? Like you said. This uh, robbery occurred over two hours ago. Took you a while to locate your conscience, didn't it? I was held in the back of a car. Night. So it seems. Exploding vans. Mysterious Chinamen. Oh my God. You know what I think? Mysterious Chinamen. I think you're up to your balls. Up to your this. balls in this. But you got scared. No. And now you're trying to lie your way out. Can we check the CCTV footage of... I'm telling you the truth. Anyone to back you up? Mention mailing. There was a girl. <laughs> Do you surprise me? Where's she at? She wouldn't come with me. Sounds like the brains of the operation. I'm trying to do the right thing here. Yeah, why don't you investigate this Mr. Wu? He's the guy that they stole the bowl for. He runs a restaurant in Shoreditch, that's all I know. <clears throat> Tony Wu is sitting in the room right next to us. What? And he's very convincingly denied any involvement in your little enterprise. In fact, when we told him what you stole, he nearly stopped breathing. That's because that's what he wanted. Oh no. CCTV footage! Of the, of the car park. That's all I need! Just show them it! Do you know who the Choi family are? Um... Because Tony Wu does. Barely. And he knows fine well not to fuck with them. I didn't... I think you didn't realise that until after you stole the bowl. And now you're sitting here, shitting yourself. Oh, for fuck's sake. Looking for a way out. <laughs> Sorry, that's I want you odd to noise. talk to somebody. Who? Do you recognize this woman? What the fuck is this? What do I have here? Answer her. It's the Chinese bowl we stole from the auction house tonight. No, it's not. Even though it fools the eye, I must admit. Which what? Which is why we rely on an effect called thermoluminescence. It's used to determine when the porcelain was fired. The bowl was created during the late Ming Dynasty, somewhere between 1368 and 1644. So it should be... Between 647 and 371 years old. I guess that's about right. Man's a mathematician! Unlike the bowl I examined this evening... This thing here is less than five years old. So where is the original? D that's the one I stole. Hey, where is it? Fuck. Yes, I dare say. Start talking. I'm really trying. To a solicitor, no one else. Appreciate you coming down, Miss Tran. <laughs> we'll keep you informed. Really? That's it? Matthew Thompson. I am arresting you on suspicion of armed robbery. What the fuck? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you let me rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Why? Look, I really don't know where it is. Tell it to your solicitor. I shouldn't have gone to the police. Copy that, 721. I mess up all these games. Where are you taking me? P prison. CID at Knightsbridge. CID. The top end of the robbery. Okay. If you want my advice, I'd help them do it. Oh, I mean, I'll, I'll tell them Start everything. Getting a few plus points on your record. Get a year or two off your sentence. Can't believe it's come to this. I'll tell them everything! Where did I go wrong? Where did I make the wrong choice? Clive, you see this? What? Oh no! It's the Troy. It's the Troy, Troy family. Are you 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is this has gone from bad to worse. This is this is unreal. <laughs>